Good afternoon, morning, evening, whenever you want to watch this video. Um, thanks for coming and joining me. I'm going to do a little series of videos just... Oh, here's Douglas. Look, hello, mate. Um, a little series of videos just about um, some breathing tips. There's going to be some breathing videos and there's going to be some um, talking about feet, really. So anyway, we're going to start with breathing. Today is just going to be a little breakdown of a simple exercise that I personally feel everyone should be able to master. This should be our go-to breathing exercise. It should be not even exercise, that's crap. It should be our go-to breathing habit. It's what we should do daily, every day, without even thinking about it. It should be our um, body's natural place to want to be, which is to breathe lightly, slowly, and deeply. Simple. And realistically, I would suggest that the majority of uh, humans, I'm going to say humans, men, women, trans, whatever you want to be, anything, I don't care. We are pretty much, as a species, certainly in the Western world, overly stressed. We are, and even if you don't feel stressed in yourself, there's a very strong chance you are over sympathetic driven so sympathetic I mean your nervous system your fight and flight um, this idea of adrenaline around the body there's a release of cortisol there's all of these stress hormones chasing around and this tends to put a bad breathing habit into us so what do we need to do we need to observe it to begin with um, and then really that is the key to the majority of practices that ever need to happen is for someone like yourself who's watching this to feel and observe and watch how they're breathing as many times a day as you can, as many times a day as you notice and just be focused, be attentive to what you're doing. So whatever you're doing right now, how are you breathing? Is it through your mouth? Is it through your nose? Can you hear it or is it silent? Is it strong? <sighs> is it relaxed? Is it deep? Do you feel like this part of your ribs gets moved? Or is it more shallow? Is it more up here? Just be attentive, be aware. And I just wanna, we're gonna spend about a minute and a half and we're just gonna, for the first minute and a half, we're not gonna do anything. We're just gonna sit and we're gonna watch. And this is the, the basis of a mindful practice to a certain degree is just to be attentive, to have a conscious awareness of what you are doing. So what are you doing? Close your eyes perhaps, or sit and face a window and just look out at some trees, if you've got trees or anything around you. And observe your breath. As you begin to watch it, does it change? Does it get lighter? Does it get heavier? Does it get faster? Does it get slower? Does it go deeper or is it more shallow? Just find an awareness. Keep slowly, or just however it is, just keep breathing. Just keep breathing, just keep breathing. If Dory wasn't a fish, that's maybe what she would have said. And as we've got another 45 seconds to go, what are you feeling? Ask yourself, what am I feeling? Am I feeling a little bit more relaxed? Has a conscious awareness already just changed my breathing habit, my breathing pattern? Has it maybe made me stressed? There's some people who are so overly driven that when they begin to slow down, it triggers them into a slight panicky feeling. Maybe that's you. If it is, fear not. We will talk about that in a minute. So then whatever you're doing, just ignore your breath for a moment and just see how you feel. Maybe you feel a little bit sleepy. Maybe you feel pretty good. Maybe you feel a little bit panicked. You might find that doing something as simple as just consciously uh, watching your breath may make you feel a little bit panicked purely because as you watch and as everything slows down, you're shifting down a little bit, which should be relaxing, surely. But the problem being is you're creating an increased level of carbon dioxide within the body. And when that increased level of carbon dioxide begins to rise, carbon dioxide is the thing which triggers us for breathing, 
for panic. And so if you're not used to it, if the receptors which monitor for carbon dioxide have become so highly sensitive that the smallest little rise triggers us, this might seem a little bit stressful to begin with. But for the next two minutes, we're just going to try and practice breathing about six breaths a minute. So you can pick, maybe it's less than that. Maybe you're going to do in for five or six seconds and out for seven or eight seconds. Maybe that feels good for you. Perhaps that feels hideous for you and actually you want to do in for two and out for four, in which case you'll be doing maybe um, eight breaths a minute. So you're going to pick, see what happens for you. Okay. But all I want you to do is just to relax again, look outside, stay with yourself. And then we're just going to spend two minutes breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in, two, three, four. Breathing out, two, three, four, five, six. In, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, five, six, in, out. So I'm going to shut up for the final minute. You're going to just continue that. Whatever breath patterns working for you, maybe you want to make it longer, maybe you want a mini pause, but you're trying to breathe light, so light that you cannot really feel much of a breath moving in and out of your nose. Deep, you're breathing down to the, the base of your ribs, not just into the upper chest. And the slow is 10 seconds, 11 seconds, 14 seconds of breath, seven or eight seconds of breath even six seconds of breath. All of these things are slower than what your normal breathing rate is. All of them will begin to calm us down, shift us down. And if you found in that first minute and a half, there was an urge to breathe, a panicky sensation, take the numbers down a little bit more. See if that helps at all. See if that just relaxes that strong urge, that slightly panicked feeling. It's going to do another 20 seconds, so perhaps just two more breaths or so. And it's as simple as that. All right, so... Give that a go, see how you get on. That should allow us just to downshift. It might make you a little bit sleepier. Uh, I recommend that to many people to try doing before they go to bed. Why not? Let me know how you get on. Hit the old like, subscribe and uh, notification button. Make sure you watch out because there's gonna be some more videos like this coming soon. Little mini, mini videos, which are a bit easier to tune into. So let me know and I look forward to hearing your comments below. And if you don't already, come join me for my online classes Every day over the week, we do breathing, yoga, movement, meditation um, for just £15 a month. So there's a link in the uh, bio below and I'll see you all soon. Cheers, guys.